Right, folks, for Fox sake, special here, I've heard the news that Frank Lampard's going to be sacked today. I honestly don't believe it. He's had one bad run, and um, Roman Abramovich has basically just picked him up, wiped his arse, and then he's fucking thrown Lampard out. Frank Lampard, right, a Chelsea legend. I don't, I don't use the word legend very often um, because it's overrated, but Frank is. You know, he's, he's played so many games. He's won so many trophies for that club. He's been there through and through. You know, and it's an absolute fucking disgrace what is happening. He's, he, he, was, he, he won Champions League football last year with no players, really. He had no transfers. The transfer ban were on him and they, was, they were fucked. Uh, he, he basically pulled Frank from Derby after learning. You know, Frank were learning the trade. And um, he pulled him from Derby. He's fucked Derby off, and now he's fucked Chelsea off. Um, he, he's just, he, you know, to build a foot. Look at Frank. Uh, Frank. Uh, look at Klopp at Liverpool. It took him years to get that team together, right? Rebuilding. Um, Brendan Rodgers. I'm not comparing Brendan Rodgers with, and Leicester with Chelsea, but Brendan's building something there. It takes fucking time. You cannot just have, you, you know, the days of bringing in Mourinho and winning the championship are over, right? It's That ain't going to fucking happen again. That ain't happening again, yeah? Not unless you throw billions at it. Uh, Man City are now struggling. Pep's having to rebuild their kind of thing. But it is just a complete joke. I don't understand what these foreign investors... Leicester are very fortunate to have the investors and the owners who we've got. It's just absolutely unbelievable. But, you know, Manchester United, they stuck with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I, I criticise Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but there again, I'm just a fat cunt who drives a forklift truck. But they bought him in and it were going wrong. But they've stuck with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and now they're getting the rewards. And fair play to Man United for that. Fair play to them. There were probably not any other options that they could do and they had to ride the storm. But Ole's turning it round. And that's what Frank would have done. He played last year with a load of kids. And they did the job. They got Champions League football. Now he's brought players in. I personally, you know my feelings on Chilwell. Overrated, overpriced, but fortunately he's over there now. Um, and, you know, and all the other players, I think the other players have let him down. But Frank's, you can't just buy every player that you buy in, and make them a success every time. And this is, this is the problem. And, and to build a team, it takes longer than 18 months. You know, they've... they've <laughs> It's just a sad day. This is Frank Lampard, for fuck's sake. A man of Chelsea through and through. And Abramovich has just fucking used him and abused him. He pulled him from Derby. He's fucked Derby off and now this is it. Who, who are Chelsea fans? That, please, I'm not having a go at Chelsea at all. I like Chelsea. My mate Wolfie, he's a big Chelsea fan. I'd love to get Wolfie on here, but obviously with the fucking restrictions, it can't be done. I'd love to know what Wolfie thinks of this. You know, I mean, he goes down to the Stamford Bridge and everything. Um, but this is just so wrong. And these this, these teams, the, these man, these blokes who come in and buy clubs, they, they just play fantasy football with the teams. I don't know. I'm getting disheartened or disillusioned or... I'm just fucking fed up with football just lately. It's just it's being ruined by these fucking over wealthy bastards who think they can just come in and do what they like with fucking clubs and rip the heart and soul. Yeah, he's well, he's paid lots of money into Chelsea. Yeah, he's won trophies. But this is Frank Lampard we're talking of. Chelsea man, through and through. You know, he's got player, manager, legend on the fucking stand and that. What? Why are they doing it? Why? I can't understand now. Chelsea fans, please, if you do see this, let me know what you think. You know, he's just had one bad run. He's building a team. He's trying to mould a team. And now I'd love to know who Chelsea are going to get. Because I haven't got a fucking clue who they're going to have. Who are Chelsea actually going to get who wants to go and work for him? Eh? Who wants to work for Roman Abramovich? Because I think I might even stay on before the truck. In the snow, in the wet, in the wane, in the wind and the rain. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Show some fucking respect to Abramovich. What that man did for your club and won you them trophies, right, is amazing. And you just shit all over him.